Hello folks, I'm Biography and welcome to my channel where I do reviews, tip and tricks, tutorials and talk about creative stuff if you want to talk about creative stuff. So today we're going to talk about the Ninja 5 combined with the R6 overheating times. This is a follow-up to a video that I did two weeks ago where I was talking about how is the Ninja 5 combined with the R6 and how great it is. And I have to say it is super, super, super awesome, especially after doing this test. So today we are going to see the times um, of how long the Canon R6 shut down with the Ninja 5. I plugged the Canon R5 and the Ninja 5 to the DC power so that I can have basically recording without the battery actually dying before and clean the, the drive, the SD drive that goes into the, the Ninja 5 so that I can have the maximum capacity that I can have. So it was one terabyte and yeah, so the test concluded with the 4K 25 frame per second, basically just going. I had to stop it around two hours because I didn't have time anymore to stay um, around it. So I had to just shut it down and it was warm on the back and the grip were a little bit warm. So I was a bit worried about that, but then it cooled down after 15 to 20 minutes. So then you can have start again shooting, um, not with the Ninja 5. I didn't try with the Ninja 5 after that. I just tried shooting without the Ninja 5 and it was great. It was back to shoot as never happens, as it never overheated. <laughs> so yeah, the 4K60 was just amazing as well because it stopped recording one hour and 33 minutes. So I was just mind blown away because I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting way less. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm never gonna record a 4K 60 anyway for one and a half hour, but the fact that I can rely on that, holy, holy, ooh, that makes me happy. <laughs> but yeah, the room is actually around 20, um, degrees Celsius. So I will basically put somewhere here the, the Fahrenheit. So that's amazing. That's amazing. I do interviews. So knowing that I can rely on the Ninja 5 with a Canon R6 for at least two hours is just amazing. Like continuously two hours. Of course, then it depends from the room, but already one and a half hour in still 4K 25 minutes, if there is a hotter room than this house studio. That's amazing. Like we cannot complain at all. Plus who, who will shoot 4K 60 continuously like for one and a half hour? Well, if there is someone out there, I'm not judging, but are you going to slow down 60 minutes of shooting? Mm. But hey, with this brings me the end of this video. So if you liked it, click the like button, subscribe, click notification button so you can be notified when I post new videos. And I'm going to post more exciting videos um, in the next days. So I hope you will like to watch them. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are already a subscriber, welcome. <laughs> Write me down in the comment, what would you like to see more with the Canon R6 and what kind of information you want to have more um, on the Ninja 5 combined with the R6. And I will answer on the comment or I will do follow-up videos. So thank you for sticking here with me. See you in the next one. Take care, stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye-bye.